Right now we're going to look at a proof where we're given the measure of segment MX equals 9, the measure of segment XR equals 10, and we're trying to prove that the measure of segment MR is equal to 19. And so we're going to start off with our givens. So statement number one is that the measure of segment MX is equal to 9 units, and the reason we know that is that information is given to us. And statement number two is that the measure of segment XR is equal to 10 units, and that is given. And so now that I have my given stated, uh, we go back to the key questions that we've discussed in class. Is anything the same? Meaning, can I do any substitution? And so I have measure of MX equals 9, measure of XR equals 10, and so nothing's the same. The next key question that we ask us, or ask ourselves, is, is there a keyword? So within my statements, I do not have any keywords. And so then the third question we ask ourselves is, is there a diagram and what can I conclude from it? So in our diagram, I see that the entire segment is MR, and it's made up of segments MX and XR. So what we can conclude from our diagram is that the measure of segment MR is equal to the measure of segment MX and the measure of segment XR being added together. So the measure of XR. And the reason we know that is from the segment addition postulate. And I've pulled that from the diagram. So now we go back to our key questions again and we ask ourselves from the beginning, is anything the same? And so I see measure of MX equals 9 and in the statement I just wrote there's a measure of MX. So in place of the MX I'm going to put 9. And so statement 4 is the measure of segment MR is equal to 9 plus the measure of segment XR. And what we've done there is we've substituted the value of 9 in place of MX and we used steps 1 and 3 in our substitution. So I'm going to cross those off because I've used them. And so then I ask myself again from the beginning with our key questions, is anything the same? So in statement 2 I see the measure of XR equals 10 and in statement 4 I see an XR. So again in place of the measure of XR I can substitute in 10 and so step 5 is that the measure of segment MR is equal to 9 plus 10 and again I've substituted um, 10 in place of XR and we used steps 2 and 4 and again I'm going to cross those off and so looking at my my statements. I only have one statement left and so going back and analyzing what it is I'm trying to prove, the measure of MR equals 19, I notice that if I combine 9 and 10 to get 19, I can write my final step, the measure of MR equals 19 and what I've done is I've simplified my mathematical expression and so our reason is simplifying and I've simplified step 5 and so again some of you might be questioning um, can we substitute more than one thing at a time and again in proofs we're being very specific in what we know and so as we go from beginning to end we only make one change at a time listing out every specific piece of information we know as we go step by step